I'm scared. There's always that one moment, that one key moment where God calls stronger and more desperate. Maybe that's Adira. I don't even know. I'll let you do that. I, I Sure. It is in these moments that truly separate the saints from the sinners. Hey! What are you doing? This place has a very special air to it. I intend to keep it that way. In times like this, the outside can be terribly distracting. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? You're locking us in. Why, yes. The two of you are sick. Very sick. And when people are sick, they need to be quarantined. Adira. We've got parents, you know. Parents who want to know why we're not back. I will be informing your parents that there have been complications. And that a bit more time here will lead to great breakthroughs in your spiritual development. I'm sure, as good followers, they will all agree. I've prepared a new curriculum. One that will help all of us get to the root of the matter. Prayers of exorcism. Records of possessions and hauntings. <sighs> the devil's might is terrible to behold. He comes, prowling like a lion. He waits and hungers, sniffing out that which he can devour. Violent convulsions, speaking in tongues. Then comes the vomiting of excrement and nails and shards of broken glass. But what? if we act now, it need not come to that. Mother Idolora kept a very comprehensive list of what exactly needs to be done when we are confronted by the dark, and I've kept it safe over the years. I don't believe this. Is this kind of stuff even part of religion? Oh, you'd be surprised, Gabriella. Most don't think too much of the sacred rites. But back in the day, we would war against Satan. Most were priests, true. But Mother Idolora saw to it that we nuns could also defend ourselves, and others if need be. Can you even hear yourself right now? All this stuff about Idolora! This is like some kind of cult! This is no cult! The real cults are out there, their sick words being broadcast to the nation, being taught in morally bankrupt schools, their scriptures printed on books that they sell to children! are being sold as lies to drive you to do what? To succeed in the rat race of a world that only ends in greed and debauchery and sin. But what we have here, Gabriella, this is the real thing. <laughs> She's like, what? Do you <laughs> yeah. think you can okay. keep me here? Of course not. These doors were not built to contain. I'm sure you could do it break it down till but splinters and shattered wood remains. But I promise you, I will do everything I can to stop you. I'm not as strong as I used to be, but if you wish to leave, you will have to drag me outside this place. And even then, I may fail, yes. But when you crawl out that shattered door, what then will you do? It is a very long walk to the nearest highway, and it's very easy to get lost in the forest. There are all manners of beasts that lurk there. And even once you've found your way home, what then? I'll make sure your mother knows, and I'll leave it up to her on how to deal with your transgression. But even then, Jeez, I will Adira. ask her to send you back to me, and God is in her heart, oh, so no. she will listen. Jessup? I just, I just panicked! And so, at the end of everything, You'll find yourself walking right back through the sacred doors which you tried so hard to break. This is not a prison. It is a place of seclusion and worship. Why do you describe it like a prison? A yeah, I was just gonna temple. say, sure sounds like a prison, dude. And I am just one woman. I cannot stop you from doing anything. But you see, we are a community. 
and the community can do what a single person cannot. C -c -c cult When we work together, we can make sure that no one gets left behind. So please, let me help you. Let me heal you. I think pass. I'm done with this. With all of this. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardness of heart. Move! I've made myself clear. I will not. I said, move! Mother Idolora, grant me strength. I will save you. Just let me go! Dearest mother, grant me thy protection. And in protection, strength. And in strength, knowledge, and in knowledge, understanding. Just, just shut up! I'm tired! I'm tired and I'm done! I'm done with all this! And in understanding, love! Gabriella? Oh, oh. oh, no. No, 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 no. Please, child, say something. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. It, it, it was an accident. I, oh. it, it, it's all right. I can fix this. I, I told her that I'd help her. Oh my god. Uh, she did say earlier there's some souls that even God's light cannot reach. She did say that. That's true. <gasps> That's right. There was no other option. I had to do it. I had to. Cornelia. But, but, but there's still one other. I can still reach her. I can still save her. So many have been lost. But I won't lose another. I will not lose another. She's going to walk in this room. Everything's destroyed. Oh, yeah. We've 100% destroyed that statue. Holy. <laughs> Liana. What's happening? How'd I get here? Wasn't there something important I needed to do? Oh boy. Don't none say this... everything is fine. Yeah, none of this is that's good. What, that's what <laughs> that's what Adira yeah. says. That's right. Safe and sound. Yeah, th this is relaxing. Now, what was I going to say? This game giving me gut problems. It's a dude for real. Please, I really need someone to talk to right now. This is the night she died, for sure. Remember what happened? I, I know this is how... Uh, I know how this went. I... Oh, uh, yeah. Liana, what's with that look? Huh? Remember, brave Kylie. The partisan charm is powered by smiles and happy thoughts. So whatever it is that's getting you down, don't worry about it. Besides, you've got me by your side, okay? Uh, okay. So, what's up? My niece... killing me. It still hurts. So you think because her knees, she's weak and she's gonna, like, fall? Is that kind what of the vibe? 
I, st I still think you were right that she's going to try to get the box. That's what I'm saying. Like, in, in her, because she's hurt. Right. Gonna happen it's hard and for her gonna... to maintain balance. Yeah. yeah. Huh? What do you mean? Come on, hold still. Let me have a look. We gotta look at these messed up knees again. Do we gotta do? Do we gotta do that again? Ooh. Nothing wrong here. <laughs> Liana, what's gotten into you? Did you have a bad dream? That's probably what happened. No. My knees, they, they were hurting all over. Hey, sometimes we get nightmares. Nightmares that feel so scary, so real. But it's fine. You're awake now. Whatever scared you, it was all just a dream. But this, this is real, okay? Here. You're safe. You, you're... you're right! I'm feeling better already. There you go! <laughs> well, nope. since I hate you're that. already up, I was thinking... It's been a while since we've done something together. <gasps> Are you thinking about... Yeah! Our secret box! No matter yep. what happens, we could just open it up like we always do. That's right! And then we can get lost in our own little world. A perfect world filled with magic and wonder. A world where everyone's happy. A world to call our own while we wait for something amazing to happen. <laughs> a twist of a key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. That's all it takes to get to Witchwood! <laughs> all right, you know the drill. Got you covered! Uh... Whoa! C careful, Liana! Almost! Okay, got it! Whew! <sighs> Piece of cake! <sighs> Great! Do you think they hear now their mom coming up. and she, she panics trying to put to... it back? Yeah. Yep. Huh? What are these? I don't remember ever buying these. What are you talking about? We've always had them. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna say you're thinking too much. Yeah. Silly me. You're right. Sorry, I guess I'm still a bit sleepy. Come on, let's finish what we started. Our very own masterpiece. L let's get started. Nope. nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this, this is nice. Just the two of us. Drawing together, just making stuff up as we go. Yeah, back in our own little world. And there, it's done. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Was this really what we were working on all this time? Of course. What else could it be? Lovely, isn't she? Wholesome, pure, chaste. There's no second guessing. No desperate search for her place in the world. She's exactly where she wants to be. The face of a saint if I ever saw one. <gasps> what did you say? Huh? What's wrong? It's just that this isn't right. It ain't finished till we sign it? <laughs> that's, or, that's weird. What are you talking about? It's perfect. I want to see what happens with this, it's right? Same. It ain't finished till we sign, sign it. it, dude. Is that what's missing? Oh, you're right. There you go. By Holly and Liana. <laughs> Holly, there's something I wanted to give you. Nope. Hmm? What the? Liana, this Kylie Taylor and the Sorceress of Witchwood. Limited edition cover. Signed. There's a letter on the first page. Dearest Holly, surprise! Really hope you like it. Kylie Taylor's done a lot of really cool things, but you know one thing you've got over her? You were nice enough to take your little sister along for adventures in Witchwood. 
Here's to all the stories yet to come. Written in pink ink, strawberry scent. Leon. Hmm. Well, tell I'm scared. her. Tell her you love it. Sure. Yeah, I love it. Leon. I love it. Hmm. I, I like this. Let's, uh, oh boy, both of these suck. And, yeah. Um. I don't know, dude. Let's say it's perfect. Why not? Sure. Yes, yeah, so perfect. But that's what's wrong here, isn't it? Oh. No. <laughs> what was that for? This... This isn't how I got the book. What do you mean? I found it. Underneath your bed. You never got to give it to me. Huh? I... I just gave it to you. Just now. Holly, you're scaring me. Ah. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, what if we just apologize? Yeah, apologize. No. I wish it were like this. I really do. But this... This isn't how it happened. <laughs> Liana? <laughs> She's gone. What's that on the floor? Whoa. Uh... Uh, is this the picture we were making? It says dragons. <laughs> Coming from outside. <laughs> oh, I'm back? Did I ever really leave? But something feels off. Gabby? Sister Adira? Where is everyone? Is it just me, or does the floor seem just a bit cleaner? And the air, not as dusty. It's the same, but different somehow. Ah, uh, we're back in time. Am, am I still dreaming? I need to be careful then. Last time I was dreaming, I ended up... Well, best not to think about it right now. Golly, the ivy. When they are both full grown. Yo, is this gonna be the little girl with the brown hair? I think, yep, yeah, I think so. Who's there? And I, I'm also wondering if that's also Adira. <laughs> if they're just the different oh, stages the of Adira. In the, wood, the holly bears the crown. No, because it's not a British accent, never mind. Hey! Wait! The holly bears a blossom. As white as lily flower, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to be our dear Savior. Hello? The holly bears a berry, as red as any blood, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ. To do a sinner's good. Liana? <laughs> Yo, that girl got talent if she's singing without a tongue and a face. And... Uh, dude, how are you singing that? How are you singing, little kid? <laughs> You're... Stay back! <laughs> you... You're... You're not Liana. I'm sorry. <laughs> is she crying? I should go. I... This isn't... I... I just... really needed... someone to talk to. It's the same voice actress as Holly. <laughs> she 
ran away. I really should go figure out what the hell is going on here. But that wouldn't feel right, would it? Just leaving her to cry all alone? Something I was always good at doing. But that's what I'm here for, right? To be different? Somewhere in this convent, far away from home, there's a girl. She's crying. Maybe she needs me. Or maybe I need her. Honestly, I really don't know. It felt nice, didn't it? Dreaming up stories. But right now, I need to focus. Come on, Holly, let's do this. <laughs> let's go, Holly. Deep breaths, Holly. Deep breaths. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You're... You're not... Liana. Liana? I yeah. That's the name you keep calling me. Well, if you want, I can try being her again. Interesting. Would that make you happy? N no That's not... Wait, so... All this time... It's you I've been seeing? <laughs> Probably. She doesn't seem so scary. So, why were you trying to be her? <laughs> that wasn't my idea. That was yours. What? Every night, you kept calling out to her. So, I decided to play pretend. And you filled in the blanks. Saw what you wanted to see. It felt nice. Playing pretend, slipping into your stories. They weren't always happy, but it was something different. A nice distraction. From what? Why? Because when I'm me, I have to live out my own story. Over here, it's just the same thing. Over and over again. <gasps> Someone's coming. It's starting again. Huh? What's going? Hello? Uh oh. <laughs> what? Is anyone here? Hello? It's... it's her! Shush! Lower your voice! It's ill manners to disturb prayer. Oh, sorry. See, Dammy? I told you we shouldn't shout. <laughs> Is everything alright? You were talking to yourself. Oh, sorry. Mom always gets mad at me when I do that. <laughs> it's alright. I do that too. This place has a very special air to it. It's hard not to get caught up in my own thoughts sometimes. Really? You hear that, Dammy? She's just like me. Oh, oops. I'm doing it again. Anyway, Dammy and I are kind of lost. Oh, yes. Used to get lost all the time. I still do, to be honest. So we experienced this exact scene, but <laughs> we were the little girl. Chattering away again. At the start yes. of the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is why, do you think we have the same voice as her? Maybe. Oh, where should I go? Is this the right place? I was told... Oh, yes, yes, of course! Oh, yes. You're looking for our dearest and most admirable Mother Superior. Down the hallway, third room to the left. Probably in the middle of one of her stunning lectures. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. And, um, sorry for bothering you. My mama tells me I shouldn't disturb people. Oh, please. I'm here to help. By all means, feel free to disturb me anytime. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'll remember that. <laughs> They're getting younger every year. It really is the exact same scene. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. It's always good to start early. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your stay here. I'll... I'll try. <gasps> what the hell is going on? That's... That's exactly what she said to me when I first got here. That happens sometimes. We've all been doing this. Again and again and again for so long. It all leaks out through little cracks here and there. So that even new people like you start to see it sometimes. W what So all this time... Look, here's another one. Wait! Don't just leave me here! Where'd she go? <laughs> Over there. There you are. I didn't mean it, you know. I was just playing around. It was just so sad and boring here. And most of them were just so mean. Hey! Don't just keep on running! There's some things I want to ask you! <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just playing around. I didn't mean to. You... you what have you... What the? There she is. Tell me, do you think your sins are going unnoticed, girl? How many times must we repeat ourselves? I was just... I was just playing around, and then... Did we give you permission to speak, girl? So this is the exact scene from before as well. Yeah, the scene where we watched them beat the shit out of this girl. Yeah. <laughs> hey... Stop! Stop that! It's... It's no use. <laughs> what? You can't. They can't see you. They can't hear you. It's not like your dreams. You can't change it. You can't make it happier or... or nicer. You won't be able to. <laughs> Such a mess. Who taught you how to dress, girl? <laughs> and your hands. Do you even wash them? Oh, filthy hands for a filthy liar. Again and again we try to teach you. But if words aren't enough, then perhaps a different type of pill is needed. Please! She's just a child. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was just an accident. And it is children, most of all, who need our special care. Stop! <laughs> Dare you! <laughs> this is so strange. Seeing the same thing play out, except this time, it isn't me. It never was me. It was always her. And you. Are you just going to stand there with that empty look on your face? Listen, oh my god. What I just did to her, that was meant for you. I hope you know that. What were you gonna say? <laughs> now go. <laughs> she said, are Before you gonna keep looking with that empty look on your generous. face? And we literally oh, see yeah, her as a person yeah, with right. an empty face. You're right, you're right. Well now, looks like we've both made quite a mess of ourselves, <laughs> haven't we? <laughs> oh, there's, there's no need to be afraid. Oh, did you drop this? Oh, the little girl is the one who had... The uh, notebook that we found, because that's the unicorn. Prob right. Oh it's my god. Probably yes. Dammy. I wonder if Adira, the reason why she hid it is because something terrible happened, but she feels guilty over it. 
Because she's like, Adira seemed like a good person at one point. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, what a pretty little thing. So, is this who you've been horsing around with? <laughs> you see? Because, um, it's a horse. Oh, never mind. Actually, it's a unicorn, a magical unicorn. So, yeah, come on, Adira, jeez. Dammy. His name's Dammy. He's a boy. And also, he's not a horse. Gotcha. He's a unicorn. Oh, I, I see. Well, now that I know her, uh, his name, why don't I get to know yours? It's Cornelia. Mm. Oh, what a lovely name. Adira said that name you earlier. Must be proud of it. She did, yep. How about you? What's your name? Let's go. Here we go. My name? Oh, wow, it's been a while since anyone asked me that. <laughs> you can call me Adira. <laughs> Sister Adira. We saw through the Matrix code. We were in it. We were like seeing the numbers. Dude. Day one. Day one. Kick down the door. <laughs> <laughs> just, just what's going on here? <laughs> All right. <laughs> now that we've started things off the right way, <laughs> Adira why with you three tell question me, marks. Hmm. What does Dami like doing on beautiful days like these? He likes flying, flying around the forest. That's where all his friends are. Like this. Here, let me show you. <sighs> oh, <laughs> I see. And what types of friends does he have? He talks to the fairies. They're really good at hiding. Sometimes so good that most people can't see them. But I can. I see them all the time. In the air, on the trees. There's one right above your head right now. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> I see. Um, that's nice to know. Uh, but, uh, uh, listen, Cornelia, I know it must seem like fun and games for you, but talking to things that aren't there, well, it tends to put the others on edge. But, but... <laughs> But that's not fair. They talk about angels all the time. My mama told me about them. Flaming swords, blinding light, wings and eyes and faces all over. They... they sound so scary. Unicorns are much nicer. Unicorns are much nicer. That's just a fact. True. Facts. Well, things like fairies, they're different. They don't quite fit in with the things we believe in. <laughs> I... I know it can be hard, especially when you're the youngest one here, but please, this... this will all be easier if you just try to maybe fit in a, a bit more, alright? Uh, I could even teach you if you'd like. I'm sure Dummy would like it as well. <clears throat> Come on, Cornelia. It'll be so much fun. <laughs> That's not what he sounds like. But it was a nice try. So, okay. <laughs> it's a deal. But until then, I want you to behave yourself, all right? I'll try. She was... She was the only one I liked. I don't understand. How can that be Adira? Adira's still alive. So are you. And still, every night I see you with your sister. Doing things you've already done. Pretending that it's all happening for the first time. Well, no, that's... That's different. Is it really? Whenever Liana and I would finish a book, we'd 
Always go back to it. Watching the story play out again, even though we knew how it would end. This place... It remembers. And it keeps on remembering. Mostly it's stuff I don't like. But... You know what? Whenever it's the parts where I'm with her... I'm okay. Oh... Now I remember. For the next part... I was feeling sad. What are you talking about? <sighs> Sorry. It's easy to get lost here. to have a healing power to them. make you a bad person. You're just... different. That's all. This is so strange. But what does all this mean for me? Well, maybe it's not always about you, Holly! <laughs> what is it trying to tell me? Yeah. What about the Gabby? Camellia's a sad ghost, dude. Or Adira? The real Adira? Where are they? Am I still dreaming? Is that what's happening here? Thanks. I feel better now. Oh, there you go. Keep that angelic little smile. It suits you. Adira! 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 Where is that girl? Is this Italora? I want to see Italora so bad. Oh, uh, coming, sister. Cornelia, here, uh, be a dear and continue watering the plants, like we always do. All right? Okay, sure. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we found her at the beginning of this. I always liked mm -hmm. this one. Whenever it's this memory, I like to stay here for as long as I can, even after doing it over and over again. Still feels nice. Nice and peaceful. Sister Adira, we'd always do this together. Feeding the flowers. Watching them grow. Oh, do you want to help me? Help her? I... I don't have time for that. I need to find out just what the hell is going on here. <laughs> and there's also finding Gabby and Adira, the real Adira. I can't. Look, I've got some very important questions I want to ask you. Please. It's been so long since I've met someone new, and I 
I don't like what comes after this. So if you can, stay with me. Just for a bit. Please? Do you think the next one is the the memory where Adira is, like, telling her to go with the sisters? Yeah. Maybe? It does make sense with what Adira said before. I... Yeah. <sighs> Jeez, what do I do? I don't have time for this. But maybe if I help her out, it'd be easier to get some answers out of her? Yeah, let's help water the flowers. Oh, what the hell? She's just a kid. I can't say no to her. All right. Sure. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. Aww. Drink up, flowers. Got your juice right here. Wow. They're all blooming. Nothing at all like how it is now. <laughs> that song. Oh, and do you like it? Sister Adira taught it to me. Sometimes it gets too quiet here and when that happens every little noise sounds even louder noises that i hear at night she said that singing helps keep the silence away and so whenever i'm scared and can't sleep well i can just distract myself with a nice little song i i see those drawings on her journal. Just thinking about what they might have been doing here. Um, hey Cornelia, that's your name, isn't it? Yep, that's me. Listen, I wanted to ask you. And this red one over here is Squiggly. Huh? There you go, Squiggly. Look at him, getting bigger every day. And that yellow one over there is Tulip. I know it's not really a tulip, but she likes the name just fine. Oh, well, she looks great too. So, you named all of these flowers? Yep, me and Sister Adira. How about that one over there? Oh, she's new. We never got the chance to name her. Uh, let's name it. I know. Why don't you give her one? M me? Hmm. <gasps> Color <about> tomato. <laughs> <laughs> How about Kylie? Kylie, I like that. How about Kylie? Kylie. I like that. Well, here you go, Kylie. Drink up. <laughs> you seem to really care for them. Of course. Sister Adira and I... We talk about what the flowers were up to when we weren't looking. I think that fairies live in the flowers. But the other nuns, they don't like fairies. But Sister Adira said that fairies are just angels. Tiny little angels. They dance around the garden, covered in bright colors. And other times, they play pranks on all the people we didn't like. <laughs> it... It was nice. Making up stories. Getting caught up in a little world of our own. <laughs> that does sound nice. The worlds we share together. The worlds I tried so hard to believe were real. It does feel nice, doesn't it? Playing pretend. But right now... Look, Cornelia, we need to stop this. Huh? Look... I still don't really quite get what's happening, but I need you to stop doing this... this pretend thing. All these things that you've been doing, going into my dreams, making those voices, and those... those statues. Adira... not your Adira, but the Adira I know. She... she thinks it's something bad. I didn't mean it. You know, I was just playing around. 
It was just so sad and boring here. And besides, those statues. Yeah, I was gonna that say. Was me. What? What do you mean? They were worse things. Worse things? Like. Like what? I don't really know how to say it. But. It's this place. This whole place, it, it doesn't let us go. It just keeps us here, playing the same things over and over again. <gasps> what? Are you serious? What is that supposed to mean? I, I really don't know how else to say it, but this place... It changed Adira. It changed her so much. I don't like it. I don't... Hey. You're her friend too, right? Huh? Um, friends with who? A Adira. Oh. Um... I don't think I'd call her my friend, but... I guess... Sorta. I've been watching her. She's older, and she's different, but I know it's still her. I keep trying to tell her that she needs to leave. But no matter how hard I try, she never sees me. Do you think she hates me? Does she? She never really mentioned her. Honestly, I don't really know. I mean... I'm, if the truth is, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we should tell her. We said we'd tell the truth. We speak we truth. Said we, we said we'd speak truth, yep. It's like what you said. Adira, she's... She's different now. Time passes and people change, you know? <laughs> Do they ever change back? I'm not really sure. I'd... I'd like her to see me again. Even just once. Me. Hey. Thank you for talking to me. It's been really hard. Being all alone. But I think you should leave. Get as far away as you can from this place. And please... Take Dira with you. Oh. This part again. She was sad. <laughs> Sister Adira? Oh! Yes! Yes! Everything's fine. Just fine. Really? I can be pretty sharp too, you know. <laughs> you want me to get a glass? A gloss? What are you talking about? For your tears. If we just let them fall, it'll be such a big waste. We gotta save them, so if I start feeling sick, they can heal me. Cornelia, that's... That's nice of you, but... It doesn't work like that. Look, Cornelia. Those colored pencils I gave you. You said you'd only use them to draw on your notebook. I wanted to get back at them. <laughs> they don't see it like that. Listen, vandalizing holy paintings. It might seem like just a prank, but now they're, they're saying that the voices you hear are driving you to do these things. The other girls here won't even talk to me, you know? They call me a witch. And it's all because the sisters keep telling them lies about me. They just want what's best for you. The sisters, they hurt the other girls. I hear it at night. They take some of them out. I can hear their voices through the walls. That's not... It's all just to make sure you've learned your lessons well. 
You don't hit me. Why can't they be more like you then? I'm... I'm new here. I'm still learning. I'm... I'm, I'm sure there's a reason. <laughs> this place is horrible. Stop pretending that it isn't. They're hurting you too. I see it. They do it all the time. <laughs> That's why you're sad, right? They're hurting you. Uh, I'm no saint. I can barely manage being a good nun. Is... Is that why you're sad? No, it's not that. I'm fine, it's just... <laughs> I wanted to come here so badly. But here I am, just... failing at everything. <laughs> Mother Idolora. Now there's the real saint. <laughs> when I see her at work... It's like God himself is whispering into her ears. Just like all the stories. It's magical, really. And I try. I try so hard to be like her. But whenever I pray, I don't hear anything. It's just silence. Maybe they're all right. Maybe I do lack faith. Let's try it. Try what? Praying. Let's pray together. I... Uh, okay. Put your hands together. And close your eyes. There you go. <sighs> do you hear that? Hear what? No, it's just silence. It always is. Are you sure? Try harder. There. The sound of the birds. And if you listen real close, there's the sound of us breathing. And if you listen closer, there's our heartbeat. It's not silent at all. <laughs> I... Uh... I suppose you're right. <laughs> you're sad that you're not a saint, but that's okay. I like you the way you are. Just you. And besides, I don't think I ever want you to be a saint. Because then you'll have healing tears, and that means you'd have to cry all the time. And I don't want you to keep crying. <laughs> <laughs> you silly, silly girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Oh, I wanted to give this to you. Made it when the others weren't looking. Oh, Do you like damn. It? She made it. It's your own little rosary. Aww. Whenever people hurt me or make me sad, Demi was always there for me to talk to. I know it's not the same, but I see some of the sisters talking to their rosary sometimes. So, maybe this can sort of be the same thing. Something to talk to whenever you're lonely. Oh, oh thank you so much, Cornelia. <laughs> Try it on. I... You're not actually supposed to wear rosaries, dear. They aren't bracelets. Mother Idolora would... Oh. Um, well, but... Oh, would you look at that? I don't really think this counts as a rosary. Not enough beads for even a single mystery, so I suppose that just makes it a nice little bracelet. And if anyone asks, well, it can be our own little mystery. How's that? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that smile, it really does suit you. There you are. The Mother Superior wants to see you. <gasps> Come with me. It, it's happening? Right now? But she didn't... I was told... To listen to your superiors. Now come, help us. Hey! Stop! 
You little bitch. She scratched me. Lord Jesus, you know my burdens. I lay them all on your good shepherd's heart. <laughs> Hold still. I beseech you, and by the merits of the great open wounds in your heart, and to heal the small wounds that are in mine. Wait! But... Adira, don't just stand there. Help us restrain her. <laughs> Please, just... Just talk to her. Don't... Don't hurt her. Heal the pain of my memories, so that nothing that has happened to me will cause me to remain in pain and anguish, filled with anxiety. Let go of her! Please! I, I, was, I was trying to get through to her! Just... Children, please, you'll scare away the birds. Here we go. <sighs> show, me this, show me this crazy lady. My fair to Laura. I saw two doves the other day. Imagine if they end up nesting here. Well, we'd wake up to their pretty little feathers falling from the sky. Just like angels. Forgive us, Mother. Forgive us. Forgive us. I am graced with your presence. <laughs> Violence is only ever the last resort. Let her go, and she will stay. <laughs> there now. Take it in. <laughs> Good, good. Every breath is precious, a gift from God. Do not take such things for granted, child. Mother Itelora, please! Children her age, they have an overactive imagination! Our mother was speaking, Adira. All is right, Sister Annalyn. Please, find it in yourself to forgive Adira. You are family, after all, and family must love each other unconditionally. Yes, Mother. As for you, Sister Adira, I have given your concerns ample reflection. Cornelia, I have something very special for you, child. No. Nope. I understand that you were upset that we confiscated your little toy. Adira has made its importance very clear. You're lucky to have her on your side. So, we came to a nice little compromise. Here you go, good as new. <laughs> they were torn off. They even decolored it somehow. Why, I fixed it. A perfectly fine and normal horse. Beautiful, isn't she? I, I don't like it! As I feared. A proper thank you is in order, child. Mother Idolora herself fixed that. For you. <laughs> But, do you not feel that? A crack upon a dam, a blot of ink on silk, a splinter in his grand design? Upon Cornelia, I see horrible, horrible scars. What do you mean? Oh, you can't see it. But they blemish your beautiful young face beyond all recognition. But worry not. You are in good hands. Just like what we did to your little toy, we can do the same to you. We'll make you new. Perfect. Adira. Yes, Mother. Your actions have not been in vain. Even in her broken state, 
I can sense the love she has for you. Now, let's put that love to good use. Mother, please, I... Tell her to calm down and trust us. Tell her that everything will be all right, as it will. Adira? Adira? I'm scared. Adira. Now, now, I need to ask something of you. Something very important. I need you to go with them, okay? I... I don't want to go. It's fine. We all just want to help you. Oh, remember the stories? St. Mary, St. Rosa, St. Berna, they heard the calling. It's just like that. Remember what I told you? This place, there's a very special air to it. This is a holy place. Here, miracles happen. It's not too far off from magic now, is it? Just, just, just go with her and, and, and you'll be better. That's, that's all we're trying to do here after all. <laughs> Helping you to become a proper child of God. A child worthy of becoming a saint. <laughs> Please, now, just do this for me, okay? Come now, Cornelia. We'll fix you right up. I... I should go with her. She needs someone to... You are young, Adira. And you are also strong. So strong. But I must ask you to stay. You have your duties to attend to. But... She is in good hands. We will do our best. Yes. Yes, Mother. There now. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Take her to the room of hosts. Yes, Mother. Where... Where did they take you? Cornelia? Where did you go? C Cornelia? <laughs> oh dear. Well, what now? I should follow them. It's coming from over Is that a here. trap door, dude? It definitely is. Oh my god. There's there's a door. <laughs> is this where the music was the singing was coming from the entire time, you think? Oh my god, maybe. Looks like it uh, I ended up finding one after all. What is this room going to even look like? Cornelia? I'm scared, dude. Hello? I don't like going in here. It's dark. It's scary. This is where they put us. The ones they can't fix for everyone else. They come out pure, clean, perfect. 
for the ones that don't like. We don't get to leave. Yo, they just they left just her there? Die. They just leave them in there until leave. they die? That is so Tried. fucked up. But they wouldn't let me. I kept screaming and screaming. They wouldn't listen. And they all just kept praying. They said they'd make me better. They told me there were bad things. Bad things inside me. That I was bad for having the bad things inside me. Why? Why were the bad things inside me? It was so hard to breathe. And then... After what seemed like forever, it was easy. So easy. But you know what the worst part was? Even then, when I thought it was all finally over, I still couldn't leave. Oh, she's in real life now. Yeah, I think so. Jeez. I think she's back in present day. Uh oh, she's here. The truth. The achievement noise is killing me, dude. <laughs> Bring. Holly, are you here? Not here. Not here. Where is she? <laughs> Oh, Holly, is that you? Oh, thank God. Adira. Oh, I feared the worst. I have been looking all over the convent. How did you even end up here? Oh, quick, let's leave this place. We can pray together and, and sort all this out in the chapel. Holly, come now. <laughs> Is something wrong, child? <laughs> Holly? Are you... Are you yourself? Remember the prayers. It's okay, Adira. I'm... I'm me. Always have been. Just... What... Is this place? <sighs> this place? Well... It's nothing. Just a simple storage room for things that we no longer use. For things you've tried to fix. Well, that's not. No. Whoa. No, no, no. I, I told you it's, Just it's a storage room. I, I, it's not my fault. It can't be happening. An honest witness does not deceive. But a false witness pours out lies. Proverbs. Got her. What? Damn. What are you? For nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest. Nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. Child, I, I need you to come with me this instant. You are getting worse. Prayers. Prayers will block out the satanic voices that have been whispering into your ear. Not whispers. It was actually a very nice, casual conversation. But I guess, when you're not willing to listen, everything sounds like a whisper. <sighs> Miss Beltran, just what are you on about? Cornelia. <gasps> Does that name sound familiar? How do you know her name? She told me herself. What? No, that, that can't be. You two were friends. She trusted you. Don't you remember? She, she was ill, very ill, seeing things that weren't there. Hearing voices in her head. Mother Idolora suspected the worst. Is that why she killed her? 
How dare you! She did no such thing! Mother Idolora was saving her! Then what happened to her? She never left this room, did she? Her, her body was too weak, and the devil, he was too strong. Mother Idolora tried her best. Do you really believe that? Enough! You are not yourself, Molly. You need to leave this place and pray. We both need to leave this place and pray. Stop making excuses! She killed her! I saw it all! <sighs> noise. It's hard for me to think when you are making so much noise. Distractions. So many distractions. She, she, would, she would never do such a thing. She told me so. We are all family. Perfect, loving sisters. And perfect, loving sisters never, never hurt each other. Oh dear, please, you need to listen to me. I have given my life to uphold the sanctity of this convent. I will not listen to such slander against my family! Adira? Adira, where are you going? To a place where I can have silence! Don't just ignore what I said! <laughs> Adira, please, open up! Adira! She's not listening. Gabby! Gabby, are you there? Oh my god, I forgot that Gabby's just dead up there. Deer like that. Nah, F that noise. Nah, put doesn't help, it never did. Both of these suck! Where's yeah. my third option? I'm We're clicking the screen! I was clicking the screen, hoping there's a third option to help me out of here, game! <laughs> it's a secret one. <laughs> uh you know, whichever. Pick yeah, whichever, yeah. because right. in the end she's gonna be like, no. I'm not that person anymore. No, you're yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I needed to know. Hell yeah. And more importantly, I needed to do something. If that was really such a bad thing to do. Well, I'm not sorry. <sighs> Deep breaths, Halls. Deep breaths. I don't really know what's going to happen, but you'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> the heartfelt secret, Holly. I'm no Kyrie. Oh, are we gonna get the truth? Is she gonna yeah. be like, I was a terrible sister? Because the entire time she's like, keep saying I was a great sister. But really, she like, didn't stand up I for her sister. I did my best is what she keeps saying, huh? Yeah. I, I did my best. I tried to be a good sister. Is she yeah. gonna say, look, I was crap at that. I let my sister die. Basically. Like, slow, slow death. You know what I mean? Yeah, she didn't stand yeah. up for her kid sister. I've got no magic of my own. But... But... That's okay. That was never her strength. I just need to keep trying. Till someone hears me. Or till this door breaks down. Either way, I'll just keep making noise. Anything to keep... 
keep the silence at bay. Adira, just what are you doing? <laughs> Cornelia. She, was she really? I want to do the second one, right? That's, yeah. that's what she Guide would do. Yeah, guide me so I can see the truth. <laughs> yes. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father, bless me with wisdom. Guide me so that my heart may see the truth. The truth. Yes. Mother Idolora, she was a saint. A true saint. Do you hear that? Somewhere in this convent is a safe and quiet place. It has clean white walls with paint that never peels, heavenly castles with angels fluttering past stained glass windows. Just need to focus, Adira. Let your mind wander to a safe haven amidst the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. It's so hard yeah, to think of all that noise. Pounding and pounding again and again. Distractions, meaningless distractions. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. 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 I need quiet. Yo, Gabby, get her. Gabby, I heard that Come voice. On, Gabby. And her. She ain't dead. She just knocked out I, a little. I hit her. It wasn't my fault. I was trying to save her. Oh, but what now? What now? Find that silent space, Adira. Find that quiet space. Silence! Quiet silence. Distractions. So many distractions. Do you think this is the reason why Cornelia, Cornelia when she tries to reach out to her, Adira's like, nah. Because Adira literally, sh like, completely shuts herself out to the possibility of even, like, being distracted by a ghost. You know what I mean? Maybe. I I do find it funny that, like, the two versions of Adira we've seen so far are either why is it always silence or dear God, I wish it was silent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. It's like you're a self-fulfilling prophecy, I can't Adira. Take it anymore. <laughs> Oh, Mother Itinora, look what they've done to you. I, I've been so busy, I haven't been able to. The blood, it's everywhere. Oh, no, 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 this won't do. This won't do. Out, out, you filthy stains, out. Oh. <gasps> oh nice no 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 honestly probably, probably for, the, for best, the best right yeah yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> agree. it's ruined <laughs> that shit was cursed as hell Adira. yeah super cursed so. <laughs> no she was supposed to watch over all the children. But, but all the now, dead kids down below? All the time I 
I spent. But, but I, I worked so hard. She really did get sunken cost fallacy in this whole thing. What? Like, Literally. Damn, lady. <laughs> this is worse than an MMO addiction. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, both are bad. <laughs> right, but I wonder what you failed them, you failed everyone leads to. I don't know. Let's find out. That's right. I did, didn't I? All of it falling apart. The order really does end with me. I can't fix it. I can't put it back together. Putting things back together. Fixing things the way we want it. What? We've been doing that for a long time, haven't we? She's just talking to herself now. Yo. We learned how to do it. <laughs> Me? We learned it so well. You, 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 you can't be I, I, I'm seeing things. <laughs> Funny. So eager to believe in angels and saints. Yet the moment you see yourself, that's when the doubt starts creeping in. <laughs> no. No. You're not real. You can't be. Love a good metaphor of trying to escape yourself. It's very good. <sighs> Maybe I'm not. It's hard to tell when you've lived most of your life in this place. This convent. There really is a special air to it. Isn't there? Something almost... Magical. But there's one thing we both know was very real. Don't you remember? In this very room, we came here crying, begging Idolora to tell us what happened to her, to Cornelia. And she just looked at us with those calm eyes. Do you remember what she said? <laughs> no, no, stop it! Quiet! Silence! You're a distraction! Just a distraction! She said that... There are some souls Damn. that not even God's light can reach. That's what we said earlier. Yep. And that was it. We never saw her again. No one ever spoke another word of her. No matter how many times you asked any mention of her name, met with silence. Th that's not how it happened! You are lying! Th the child was sick! Mother Idolora said she was sick! She, she was sick and she tried to heal her! She didn't... she didn't mean to... Yes. That's the story we ended up telling ourselves. We had to. How else could we go on? <laughs> Returning to our everyday routine. Me? Praying alongside all our other sisters. Oh, and singing too. What was it we were praying for again? We, 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 we were... Oh, surely you remember. A proper sister of Saint Idolora would of course know. <laughs> the grace of God. The, the good of the children. The good of the children. It was unbearable! We couldn't leave! Our sacred vows... We can't ever leave! So 
So we did the only thing we could do to make the pain go away. We forgot. We made sure we forgot. No. We cleaned the convent so well, didn't we? A stuffed toy. That prayer journal she used to scribble on. Packed them all up. Stuffed them into boxes. Never to be seen again. Praying and cleaning and praying and cleaning. Till even the songs we used to sing to her faded from memory. Removing all the stains till every trace of her was gone. Well, almost every trace, but even the bracelet's broken now, isn't it? Did we keep the pieces? I... I tried to fix it. <laughs> fix it? Oh yes, we're very good at fixing things, aren't we? We fixed everything. Made everything so perfect. Why shouldn't it be? Her world. It's Laura's world. Heaven on earth. We did it, didn't we? We behaved like the perfect little saint they always wanted us to be. We earned our place. But even with all that effort, we never really did fit in. We still never really belonged. Those divine voices that Ida Laura and all the other sisters claimed to hear. We never heard them. Though, I suppose it would be hard to hear anything. When deep down, all we've ever really heard are the cries of that one little girl. That's why she wanted everything to be quiet. No, 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 stop. Stop it. Dearest Mother Edelora, please watch my blood-stained hands tear off the lying flesh of my limbs. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Sculpt by every action. We never really had a choice in the matter, did we? We needed to survive. And so survive we did. Mm -hmm. This is another one where it's like, it's the same thing, so... Right, but I keep wondering, Either. hers is red text, and it always, I don't know if the red is like, you know, I don't know if this is her inner thoughts, I, or if someone else is like, don't listen to her, child. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, we know that, like, the statues and all that bullshit, that's all caused by something else, right? It's not the little girl. Right, so exactly. So, this, this is probably representative of, like, whatever, whatever gross Italora uh, flavored shit is going on in here that's like seeped into her mind after all this time like this this represents that right exactly yeah uh man I don't <laughs> you're right I don't think either matters but um the devil comes cloaked with lies doesn't necessarily mean her <laughs> and I, I think know. it's more along the lines of what Adira would say to herself, right? Yeah. Your words, they are lies. You're a demonic apparition. Yes, that's what you are. You're still hearing her, aren't you? I hear her too. Demon. She's been labeled demon now. All the time. For all her talk about perfection, she was very good at leaving her mark on people, wasn't she? <laughs> Shut up! Not another word! <laughs> we weren't able to save Cornelia. But please, Adira, now there are two girls right here, very much alive. We can stop it. Please. But what can I do? If I let them go, 
after this, they will tell. Then you can confess. All this time, that's all we've ever wanted, wasn't it? <laughs> but the Order's name will receive the judgment it deserves. Please, Adira, let's end this. I... I... What if... what if she's right? I... I can't let this continue. Ooh, we spent our whole lives for this, I feel like, is the... Yeah, yeah. No. Our work here was everything. This convent. I gave it everything. If Mother Idolora was wrong, then my whole life is meaningless. Please, listen! No! Damn, be gone, Satan! Be gone, Satan! Although she would say silence, silence, silence. That's she like her would, bit. Yeah. Silence! Yeah. Dearest Mother Idolora, fill the cracks that sin has left upon me! Drowning me out with prayer? And paint a smile on She's my face noise now. so that I can become the woman of God that you want me to be! I'm used to that. So is Cornelia. Shut up! <laughs> she's... She's gone. <laughs> Has it passed? There's always that one moment that one key moment where god calls stronger and more desperate than ever before <gasps> it is these moments that truly separate the saints from the sinners who's who's there my dear dear my sweet, strong Adira, have you forgotten me? <laughs> oh, time really has ruined you, hasn't it? <gasps> Mother Idolora, you're, you're here. How? Oh, child, I never left. I've been watching you all this time. All your struggles, your pain, your victories, and your failures. My failures? The girls, Gabriella, she, she tried to leave. I had to do something, and Holly, the, the thing she was saying, I couldn't... Oh, Adira, look at you rambling on again you really haven't changed have you <laughs> when words are many transgression is not lacking but whoever restrains his lips is is prudent chapter and verse Pro proverbs 1019 there you are. Good to see you still remember. I was so worried. You've always had uh, difficulties when it came to the scriptures. By no means your fault. Your mind just has a tendency to wander, indulging itself with wasteful distractions. But we managed to fix that. It took some time. But we did, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. Mother Edelora, what happened to Cornelia? What, what you did? It's not true, right? I, I mean, 
I know it wasn't true. The horrible things she said about you. You didn't. Right? Oh, no, no, no. Adira. It's worse than I thought. Is this what years without my guidance has done to you? Every waking moment is a moment we dedicate to prayer. Not just through our actions, but through our thoughts. And so, every thought which praises the divine is a blessed hymn. Whilst every doubt, every idle musing, every stray idea is what? Is, is a curse, a sin, an indulgent distraction that the devil feeds upon. Chapter and verse. Um, it's not from the Bible. It's, it's from you. <laughs> that it is. Now that we've cleared that up, we can start over the right way. <gasps> yes, Mother. Forgive me. I am graced with your presence. So, now we attend to the present. Looks like you've made quite the mess. <gasps> yes. I'm sorry. That's all right. When there's a mess, we clean it up. Simple as that. <gasps> clean it up? But... but how? If you look deep within yourself, Adira, I think... Don't let this demon lady get you! Needs to be done. As They're about to put us in a coffin, dude. Yup. The devil festers now more than ever in the hearts of the young. And our efforts in this glorious war against Satan himself. <sighs> Lacking. You've always been so sweet. But right now, I need you to be strong. And don't you worry. I don't... We get it. Remember, I am mother to the Order. And a mother can be... Whatever her children need her to be. So, what do you need, child? I... I need you. I, I've been alone for so long. Oh, sweet, strong Adira. You were never alone. No, I don't like any of these ladies. Nope. My, Take them back. My sisters. Nah, they trash. They're here for you, Adira. We're all here for you. It's... It's all so perfect. I'm home. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. You are forgiven. Now, let's turn those words into action. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Yes. It's all clear to me now. We do things step by step. First, we assess the damage. Broken shards of her image scattered across the floor. We'll pick them up. They are sharp to the touch. Nasty little edges that cut and hurt and maim. But it's all right. She's guiding me. Second, we picture how it all used to look. Yes, now I remember. We'll put her back together, grander than ever before. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Bro, she will be perfect. She will be beautiful. And there's the candles. Yes, we will need to light them. One for each of my dear sisters. What if we use them candles and just burn this place down and go home? Yep. 
Like, what if we just like do that it's and then made... go home? Here's here's the thing though, Jessup. It's made of stone. I thought about what that if earlier. we what if we burn it down? <laughs> just saying. Mm -hmm. There gotta be wood in here somewhere. I have so many sisters. The convent will be bathed in brilliant, radiant flame. See? Third, we reflect. But there's no need to reflect anymore. After all, she's here. And now, I need only listen. Which brings us to the final step. I will turn her words, our words, into action. <laughs> 